Hello, how you doing? So today we're gonna to make this, a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie. What's the difference? Okay, exactly the same thing. Shepherd's pie made with lamb, cottage pie made with beef. This is actually a cottage pie. I've been lying to you from the start. Welcome back to How To Cook Great. Okay, let's have a look at what we have here. So I've got beef here, which would make this a cottage pie. If it was lamb, it would be a shepherd's pie. The process is exactly the same. Just beef, cottage, lamb, shepherds. You got it? 500 grams there I've got of a nice kind of fairly lean beef. And then we've got some peas, celery, carrots, and onions, roughly equal amounts. There's like a cup of each of those. Tablespoon of garlic, salt and pepper. And then here I've got some thyme. I've got two teaspoons of thyme. Try a different herb in there if you want. And then here I've got some Worcester sauce. It's pronounced Worcester. There's about two tablespoons there. Some people don't say Worcester, they say other things. June, what's that? Worcester's rice sauce. Try, try again, what's it called? Worcester's rice sauce. Thanks. The only other thing I'm gonna be adding is two cups of stock. I'm gonna use a chicken stock. I like chicken stock in there, but you could use a beef stock, of course, to match the beef, but I prefer the chicken stock and of course, mashed potatoes. Okay, so you're gonna need a pot or a pan or something. I've got this kind of little wok thing there. Got a touch of oil in there. I'm using some olive oil. I'm gonna drop in our onion, our carrots, and our celery. Now, hundreds of ways of making this. Some people wouldn't put any vegetables in at all. Some people would put loads of tomato in it and make a kind of bit of a bolognese type thing, really. But we're gonna go with these vegetables and stock. Right, let's drop it in also now our meat. I've got 500 grams, which is just over one pound of minced beef. We're on a medium heat. I'm gonna go for about five minutes here, frying this away. Delicious. There you go, that's five minutes, medium heat, looking fab. Let's get the peas in. Oh, they're just frozen peas, just pop them into some cold water for a few minutes. Tablespoon of garlic. Salt and pepper, about a teaspoon each, or to taste how you want. A couple of teaspoons of dried thyme, and if you want, like I say, rosemary, tarragon, sage, you can kind of mix it up how you want to. We're then gonna add in the Worcester, or the Worcestershire sauce, a couple of tablespoons of that. But yeah, just pronounce it Worcester or Worcestershire, or Worcestershire, Worcester. Okay, then we're gonna add two cups of stock. Now, like I say, I'm using a chicken stock, I like to use that. Do you know what's nice in this sometimes as well, if you want, a bit of Marmite, like a couple of teaspoons of Marmite or Bovril in there can work wonders. Right, we're gonna cook this for about another five or six minutes. We want it to kind of steam out a little bit and dry down just somewhat, and that will make sure everything's cooked. Okay, off goes the heat. That's reduced down somewhat, but still nice and moist. Check that out for salt and pepper. But that's done. Let's go and chat about potatoes. So I'm not gonna go into great detail on how to make mashed potato. I kind of presume that you know. That's an enormous amount. That's twice as much as we need because I'm gonna use that for something else. But what you do is get your potatoes, peel them, wash them, get them into some water with salt, bring it to the boil, boil them till they're nice and soft, i.e. the knife goes in, the knife comes out, the potato stays in, drain the water off, mash it down. It's a lot of elbow grease, elbow grease meaning a lot of effort. Add milk, add black pepper, and add butter, and keep going, and then you've got yourself some beautiful mashed potato, nice creamy mashed potato, a little bit like this.
So I've now got our minced beef mixture into this glass oven proof dish. Now you can use metal, ceramic or glass, it's up to you. And it doesn't matter how thick or thin it is, you kind of want it, that's, that's like a couple of centimetres like that, that's kind of like that, but you, you don't want it too much thinner than that, but it could be taller, if you know what I mean, deeper than that. So we're going to get some potato and we're going to layer it on. And again, it's up to you how thick you put the potato on. I'm probably again going to go for maybe three centimetres or so of potato on there. Just taking a fork to it now just to crumble it down on there and flake the top a little bit so you get nice little kind of ridges. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put just a little bit of cheese on that and it's going to go in the oven now regarding your oven get your oven preheated and get it really hot maximum heat we're not cooking anything here it's all cooked isn't it we're just bringing it together so this is going to go into my oven at like 250 or something like that 2 220 250 just really hot nice maximum heat and it's going to go in for about 10 minutes only beautiful Little bit of cheddar on there. This is actually a mixture of cheddar and red Leicester. But yeah, some sort of cheese like that. You could use some, well you could use any cheese you want really, but I suppose traditionally cheddar's the way forward if you're gonna put cheese on that is. So nice preheated, really hot oven. In it goes, job done. Okay, so that was 10, 11 minutes in my oven actually, but I've got a really powerful oven, but you know what we're looking for, that lovely golden brown of that cheese, everything's cooked, that is delightful. Shepherd's pie, lamb, cottage pie, beef, same thing, different meat. Hope you enjoy that, keep safe, keep well. I'll see you really soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much indeed for watching our videos. It means a great deal to us. Please do hit the thumbs up for us if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, I suppose. Yeah, don't do that, just do that. Um, yeah, and subscribe to us. That would really help us out a lot. We just hit 100 million views. We're very excited about that. We would love if you could support what we're doing. We don't do any ads or endorse any products at all, uh, even though we're offered it quite a lot. A lot of it rubbish, to be honest. But um, yeah, we, we, we don't want to be doing that. So we've got a little PayPal thing. If you want to buy us a coffee, just a couple of dollars or whatever you want, you can just follow the link, which should be about here now. And uh, yeah, pay me some money. I'm broke. Lots of love.